Hello, welcome to my channel. It's Louise here, and I am going to be using the new Many Wishes card making kit stencils um, from Close to My Heart. And these have been brought out for National Scrapbooking Day, which is going to be May the 7th. So I have made these cards up in we're using inks and um, distressed oxides but today I decided to have a play with using them with texture paste so I'm going to start with the leaves first so that's the opposite of what I've done when I've been doing with the inks but if I do texture paste on the leaves, then I need to wait for it to dry before I can do the flowers. So I decided that I would do those in ink. So I'm using sage ink. And I'm just giving more colour to the base. I'm flicking out the sponge dauber. Give a bit of variety and shading. I'm just dabbing off to the side on my all-purpose mat so that I don't have too much ink on my dauber. Okay, I think that's about the way I want it. quickly wipe off with my chamois and you'll notice that I have my initials uh, in one corner of my stencils so I know which so side is the right side up. Going to use re-inkers with my texture paste, peach, and a retired colour um, from my stash called Pixie. Using the opaque matte texture paste. Put a bit of glad wrap over it just really helps to keep it uh, not drying out I'm just going to use two drops of the re-inkers because I really don't want it to be too wet if it gets too wet then it goes seeps underneath the stencil and we really want it to be quite flat. And this way you can, by adding a smaller amount at the beginning, you can always add more ink to it if you would like a deeper shade. I'm going to stick to something lighter for today and this is a bit of an experiment for me so anyway crafting is all about having fun and experimenting so I'm just going to put it down the center. I'm not really going to smooth it off I will wipe off my texture paste there. 
Now it can go blend in to your previous colour that you used. The beauty of the stencils is you don't have to worry about your leaves. Okay, looks like that's all covered up. Then we're going to get our spatula and I'm going to start from the, the centre and just smooth it off, wipe off the excess. Let's see how that goes. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Very happy. Colours go blend in nicely together. Now I'll need to set that aside to dry before I can put a sentiment on. But always wipe up your stencil. Don't want any of your texture paste drying. On your stencil. Now I do have a card that I did have a play with earlier and so it's dry and I've been able to pop a uh, sentiment on there and back it with some cardstock. I could have even elevated this and put foam underneath it as well. I'm very happy with the way that's turned out and if you like seeing what I've done today and you'd like to see more click on the bell to that helps YouTube let them know that you like the content it helps me grow my channel so thank you so much for watching today and I will see you again soon with another project and I will put some still photos at the end so that you can have a closer look. Bye for now.